Let us now take a look at some of the events that made news in the Northeast recently. Border Security Force and Directorate of Revenue Intelligence seized 168,500 Myanmar made Yaba tablets worth rupees 8.5 crore recently during a crackdown on drug smugglers in Tripura. According to officials, this is the biggest ever seizure of drugs by BSF in the state's history. The BSF official said that on specific inputs provided by intelligence branch of the force about storing of huge consignment of narcotic drugs in the house of an Indian national, Tanu Mia, in Motinagar area, BSF ordered the target house and during search recovered two cartons and polythene bags containing 1,68,500 Yaba tablets. Union Sports Minister Kiran Rajiju recently revealed the schedule for the first edition of the Kelo India University Games 2020 in Bhubaneswar, which will begin on February 21. The event will conclude on March 1 and athletes from 17 different sports will take part in games. Odisha Chief Minister Naveen Patnaik and Union Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas Dharmendra Pradhan also attended the ceremony. With the enforcement of inner line permit ILP system in Manipur, a special camp for issuance of permit was organized at Thangal Bazar in Imphal West recently. As many as 374 permits were issued including 371 regular permits and 3 temporary permits. According to officials, they received 442 applications which were issued for 6 months. As per the guidelines issued on December 31, 2019, the permits are categorized into 4 categories. They are temporary permit, regular permit, labor permit and special permit. A patrolling team of Tuplung camp at Kobitora Wildlife Sanctuary detected a carcass of female rhino near Pagladova tourist road recently. Some reports are speculating around media houses that the rhino died due to poaching. A team of veterinary doctors after proper investigation of the carcass confirmed that the rhino passed away due to old age related issues.